Okay, walk around my yard. Part two. My uh, lilacs are all done. I didn't pick any of them. Darn. Oh, my back is just really bad. That's a California quail. And guess what? <laughs> we didn't know it, but the tree people came back and they fell the tree. So I guess that's the end of that. And uh, somebody shot and killed the nesting owls. That is maddening. Calla lilies. These grow really well in Southern California in the sandy soil where my grandparents had a dairy on Artesia Boulevard. At the end of Artesia Boulevard, my grandpa had a huge dairy. Very awesome man. Worked. He, I don't think he ever stopped working. When he was 90, he didn't need the money, but he uh, had a yard, yard business. He was mowing lawns at 90 years old. And Bob, my sperm donor, he never worked. Wow, look at that tree. Whoa. Larry's been uh, sawing that, chopping the wood. We have a wood splitter, so we've got about 20 cords of wood. going to put in a another wood stove in the uh, guest house. This was one of my mother's irises. Mama, I wish you were here to see those. And these. She liked these most. She would tell, tell me these are bearded, bearded irises. Because they have a little beard. Aren't they beautiful? You know, we live above a gun range. We've lived here for 37, let's see, yeah, 37 years on this street. We lived across the street until we bought this house six, it'll be seven years this April. No, six years this last April. Fiddle, Fiddlehead Fern. Look up the uh, golden ratio, the Fibonacci code. Very interesting about the patterns, perfect patterns. My, this is my tree rhododendrons. They're peat dinner plate size, but this year they, they weren't so as big. And then this is the other red tree peony, but this is kind of come off the side of it, so I don't know where these came from. And then my purple lavender roses. They're beautiful lavender. <laughs> my mom used to do stupid things like put silk roses on her flower on her <laughs> guess what I did this is silk and this is real but these are the same color is that beautiful so if you don't have enough roses put you some dollar store there was two bunches for a dollar and then a little chihuahua bendejo chihuahua Hey, get out of there. No. These are kind of pretty. I need to get that app. What's, you know, what these are. These are Meyer daisies. These will be nice. But half of them died because 
They threw the lumber there on top of them. I'm pissed. Oh, Victor. Oh. He's just so busy. Anybody want to come do garden work? My husband does not like to spend the time doing garden work. He's been fixing up the motor home. Oh my gosh, the motor home. Pride goeth before a fall, I guess. We were all proud. Now, we're not proud. Aww. Shrooms, anybody? Guess where this thing is from. Florida Keys. <laughs> I love bringing stuff back from the Keys. I need to landscape this. But this is the new staircase. And deck. Larry did the deck. Otis, come on. My husband is such a hard worker. He works too hard. He's 70-something years old. He gets up at 5 o'clock, 4 and 5 o'clock every day. And then he goes to work. Look at my poppies, my orange poppies. She the bun bunch? Bun bunch. We have a horrible virus going on with our bunnies here in Oregon, in Northern California. They have a hemorrhagic disease, kind of like Ebola. And it's highly contagious. Ah, oh, you know, that's scary. Who knows one of these days when it crosses over from zoonatic to human. That's my pink rhododendrons. Kind of a fuchsia color rhododendrons. My purple, then acacia, white. And then salmon color. The red is all done. Hello there, bun buns. Bunny, bunny. Bun buns. Aren't these beautiful? Ah, oh, the rain really got them the other day. We had... A downpour like you wouldn't believe. I got a video of that. And the news used it on their weather programming. We're not going to use uh, weed killer anymore. We're going to use vinegar. So, oh, that got bent. Probably the rain and hail. And our flag, we used to fly the Brazilian flag for Liza. This is called Euphorbia. It makes a wonderful filler for flowers arrangements. It comes in different shades, but I like this lime green. And I don't know what this bush is. It's never had anything pretty on it. So it might go bye-bye. So here's the guest house. The three windows. The first two are the living room. And then the dining room. And then the little office. And then the master bedroom. It had a window and now it's got a deck. So... One of these days, when we're ready to hit the road for a couple of months, we'll have somebody move into our main house, and we'll just hang in the guest house when we come back. I don't know. That's a plan. Who knows? I have dahlias. I don't know if they made it through the winter, but... We use the pine cones. We pick up pine cones and then store them in a dry area. And uh, they make wonderful fire starters. 
That's we just use just a little bit of newspaper and like eight pine cones. Right there, those trees are Clackamas River. I need to get my drone out. I don't know, maybe I can get it out in a few minutes. My baby roses. Oh, my back. I love these baby roses. Make a huckle a Hawaiian huckle. I love Kauai. Ah, I could be, I could live in Kauai. Mm. I wanted to buy a condo in Kauai, and Larry pitched a fit, said we didn't have enough money. Oh, biggest mistake we ever made. It needed work. It was two bedroom on the corner at 5050 Cahill Shores, and it was on the fourth floor. You look right down into the wall where the turtles, you watch the turtles all day, and then the sunset from your window. Anyway, it sold for two twenty. They remodeled it, flipped it, sold it for over a million. Check it out. Look it up. Liza planted this tree for us, and there is my little house and deck that Larry built when we first moved here. I don't know why he did that, but I didn't ask him. But he thought that's where the <sighs> greenhouse should go. But uh, maybe somebody could put a tiny, tiny house here and park their deck or use this for their deck. I don't know. Things have really changed with uh, the housing situation. And, uh, oh, wow. I think my artichokes died. No, nope. they're making a comeback there. I don't, oh, my dahlia. Here's some dahlias coming up. And some more dahlias. Oh, thank goodness. So they made it through the winter, even though it was ice storm for several weeks. No electricity. <laughs> uh, we're going to change the door on the shop so the motorhome will fit inside. It's got two bay doors, but they're 12 feet. We need 13 feet, 2 inches. I hate having the motor home in the front. Anyway, hold on. I'm going to put it on hold. These are the best security bushes ever. You plant these under your window and no one will go creeping around. No one. The thorns on this thing will poke you to death. Oh, a bird right there. Scary. These. Ouch. You can't see the thorns. But let me tell you, yeah, right here. See that thorn right there? No one can come through these bushes unless they've got leather on. So it'd be nice to, uh, ouch, dig these up and plant them where uh, creepers go. Anyway, we're going to have to repave this driveway so our motorhome will get in. The ice task. <laughs> Oops, ouch. This is a snowball hydrangea. And our two big propane tanks and our generator <laughs> really saved our bippy this year. 
Oh, my popcorn tree. Subscribe to my channel, and I will post more pictures of my popcorn tree. You're going to love this tree. It is gorgeous. It looks like popcorn. It's white, frilly with a yellow, little yellow. Ow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yikes. And this was my red, red bud tree. Oh, ouch. <laughs> my feet ain't so tough. Oh, what is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, here, look. The, oh, this will be full by this weekend when it's nice and warm. We're supposed to have a nice warm day. But I call this popcorn. But the other tree on the other side has even bigger popcorn and looks for real. And this tree has um, red buds all over the bark. You'll see that in the other videos so Larry's going to fix that so we can park it closer in just when we load it because we don't want to keep it on the property thank you and there's my curly filbert tree it is a cool tree it is curly, curly. My legs are giving out. Curly Filbert, or Filbert, something. Look at how curly that is. Isn't that cool? I wish that bald eagle would fly over right about now. Oh. I don't know what he's going to do. Fill this with mud junk. Ooh, where's that from? <laughs> anyway, this will be flattened over. <sighs> We'd like to pave it, but I don't know. You can only do so much on a Social security income. <laughs> oh. oh dear. How am I going to get there? Hold on. I'm going to have to end this. Because I'm going to have to call Larry. To bring me some shoes. Because I can't walk anymore. Anyway. Oh it's darling. Hopefully we can get an 11 foot wide or 12 foot wide door and uh, 13 feet high. I don't know. They're supposed to come over and look at it. <sighs> and the other side, we could store the motorhome on the other side and then put an additional thing on there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Look at the sky. Oh, <laughs> all these planes going to uh, Seattle. Haven't had this much uh, jet trails for a long time. I guess travel is starting to take off again. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. And subscribe to my channel. And I might post some more videos of my beautiful yard. Who knows? Maybe I'll catch that blue heron standing in my pond <laughs> as I blow its head off. No, it's an endangered species. We did have a cougar that was killing the goats across the street. And the Fish and Wildlife game says, huh. Okay, say goodbye. So, it killed four goats, pet goats, and three turkeys. And the neighbor back here 
over there. See that light? The cougar climbed up their back step, sat on the, uh, it went all the way up one flight of steps, sat on the picnic table right outside the kitchen as the woman was cooking dinner. She turned around and said, yikes. She was a pharmacist and her husband was a fire chief. Anyway, they'd only been here for a couple of weeks. They sold it to this young couple that we love them. They're awesome. Anyway, that didn't last them long. <laughs> But they paid 450 for that house, and I thought, wow, they paid too much. Now it's worth over 850 and that's just in six years. Real estate has gone crazy here in Oregon. Anyway, we couldn't afford to buy this house. Oh, we sold the red truck and the motorhome. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Larry. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. Anyway, one of the pistons to the slide out is malfunctioning, so we cannot go anywhere because it could come out when we're driving. So finding the part is the trouble, is the problem. And we went camping eight hours. <laughs> the toilet filled up. Didn't have us, wasn't hooked to septic, and there was a leak of water going into the toilet. The valve was broke. Anyway, at three o'clock in the morning, it started overflowing. Didn't have poo poo, it was just regular water, so I went to flush it, and it didn't go down. And then the sink came up. Yeah, the sink is hooked to the black water. Why is that? Anyway, this end is the guest house. And there's the private entrance. Anyway, God bless you. Please sub. I need the channel. And if I get a thousand subs, then I'm going to go to Mount Hood. They're up Lolo Pass. I'm going to turn left at the Zigzag Ranger Station. Go up Lolo Pass Road and show you Mount Hood. Oh, it's breathtaking. But I've got to have a thousand subs in order to live stream. StreamYard doesn't look very good. Anyway, God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you.